I once did know a girl from an isle Her smile was so soft and mild Her skin was rough and felt like rock As she knelt and sucked my cock Your Mehartis, Captain Falcor here on your number one stop for Sea of Thieves new speculation and general rambling. Hey peeps, Falcor here. So we know quite a few things about the ancients. We know firstly that they were, w well, ancient. So ancient that they were around before the time of the game's current state of technology. Cannons, firearms, and trumpets. Is he gonna do it? Is he? He's gonna do it. Here it comes. New and interesting ways. But let me first put into perspective what these people were like. They were travellers at heart and probably knew more about these seas than any of us. They were a nomadic people and would travel to islands and create a culture surrounding what they discovered there. In fact, they were pretty much like this. From the Disney film Moana, except these guys were less Disney and more Stephen King drinking blood from a panther's rectum because it made you a stallion in bed. Yeah. You're welcome. So with that in mind, let's move on to our next island. And it's one that's been requested quite a lot. Devil's Ridge. Devil's Ridge, which is situated in the bottom right of the map in Ancient Isles, is one of the bigger isles in the game. It's a beautiful island, which is a great place to capture some screenshots, or just sit and chill whilst you wait for three hours for someone to help you do the Skull Thrones. It's mostly comprised of rock and has some lovely water features and lots of tunnels to explore. There are many features on this island that tell a story. I think I've managed to put everything into place, so without further ado, let's get right into to it. First and foremost, all of the ancients were sun worshippers. Almost every isle you explore and see of these will most likely have one of these paintings. This is known as a sun rock. In our own history, a sun rock was an ancient way of telling the time, much like a sundial, but not as advanced. What's the time, Dad? It's three foot from Sunrock. Thanks, Dad. It appears as though the people who had roamed this island had a lucrative food source other than the fish that surrounded the waters. Boars appear to be the food of choice and were hunted without mercy. In fact, there was one hunter who was quite successful in his endeavours and probably got all the fame and the ladies. In fact, the people loved the boar so much that they carved the island itself into the shape of a boar head with an open mouth. By the way, that's where the Skull Throne is. So it all seems peaceful and loving and chocolate-covered unicorn fairy hugs, right? Right? You're wrong. Here's why. Within the island lies a much darker story. The twisting channels that comprise a majority of the island are laced with booby traps, with the bodies of those who try to venture inside. In the central cavern, there are a couple of interesting things. Firstly, this painting which shows the Kraken, or maybe some other large sea creature. This painting is strange, as the people don't seem to be afraid, but instead are in awe of its presence, or maybe even worshipping it. Below the worshippers is a group of people that appear to be standing in blood. It's my belief that they saw this creature as the god of death, and would often make sacrifices to it from either their own people or outsiders who try to intrude on their place of worship. As I mentioned before, the ancients were all sun worshippers, much like the ancient Egyptians of our own history. And like our own ancient Egyptian brothers and sisters, they pretty much had a god for every process of life. In our own history, Anubis, who was the god of death, and the god Ra, who was the sun god and also the bringer of life. This memorial also found in the same cave shows people gathered around what appears to be a boar skull. On the brow of its skull we can see this symbol, an eye. 
Now this symbol has been seen in other areas of the game dotted around in random locations, but this depiction of the symbol I found in Crook's Hollow shows the eye symbol to be the sunrise. So this eye is much like the Eye of Ra from our own history. The Eye of Ra, the Lightbringer, and the All-Seeing. The boar gave people of Devil's Ridge sustainable life, so this altar is a homage to this god, thanking the deity for a bountiful resource. And maybe they saw the Kraken as the god of death, and would throw their dead overboard at sea so they could be granted access to the afterlife. But it still doesn't explain why this cave system is so well guarded. I couldn't find any other hints as to why, apart from these two altars. What do you think they could have hidden in this place? Maybe whatever was here is now gone, and taken by maybe the Gold Hoarders or even the Order of Souls. Leave your theories in the comments below, and as always, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you really, really like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends, and hell, ring the bell as well, so you're always informed of Sea of Thieves news, speculation, and random events. I'm Falcor, happy sailing, goodbye.